Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3 and let me brighten up your day with a review of the SH Figuarts Sailor Venus, the Soldier of Light and Beauty, more commonly known as Minako or Mina, as well as Sailor V, the original Sailor Scout. If you've been following along with the SH Figuarts Sailor Moon releases, then you pretty much know what to expect with Sailor Venus. That said, there are some nice aspects to her that make this one of the better figures in the lineup. Monaco mostly shares her body style with Sailor Mars, seeing as how both wear shoes and have long, flowing hair. But that's where the similarities end. Despite carrying the same overall shape, Mina's hair is an entirely unique sculpt. Moreover, it has wonderful elements of shading to it that give added depth. Unfortunately, these details have a hard time showing up on camera. Also, her anklets, while simple, cover up the bulbous-looking ankle joint. Then there's her overall appearance. Now, it may be a result of having more contrasting colors to begin with, but there's just an edge of vibrancy here that isn't apparent on the other scouts. The metallic blue, gold, and orange really pop. Honestly, if it weren't for Sailor Moon's translucent hair, Venus would easily be the best looking of all the scouts. Of course, I'm just touching upon the exclusive sections to Sailor Venus, so make sure to check out my original SH figure at Sailor Moon review for a more in-depth look on the details of the figure. Moving on to faces, Monaco comes with a total of four. They break down into two types, happy and determined, each with an open or closed mouth variant. It's a diverse set of expressions that should cover most display options. Articulation on this figure lines up with what's been presented before in the SH Figuarts Sailor Moon releases. In fact, Sailor Venus and Sailor Mars have identical posability, down to their flared out hair. The only difference is that because Venus wears flats, she has far greater balance and standing her is significantly easier. Accessories are your standard fare with this release too. Open palms and fists are a given inclusion, as are the splayed fingers. Then there's the pair of fixed pose hands for various display options. The last pair of hands are specifically meant to recreate her crescent beam attack. Although nice, it could use an effect part. Next up is the Sailor V mask. It comes in two forms, one clasped in a single right hand and the other as a second fringe piece. It's a fun little extra that calls back to the origins of the character and makes me curious if we might actually see a full on figure of Sailor V in the future. This set also includes Mina's trusty ally, Artemis. It's a nicely painted feline and the ball jointed head and tail give it some movement. Interestingly, Artemis isn't a direct repaint of Luna, as the positioning of the legs is slightly altered. Finally, Sailor Venus comes with her own display stand that matches up with the other scouts. Going in, I can't say I was too excited for SH Figuarts Sailor Venus. Being the fourth entry in a line of virtually identical toys, I pretty much knew what to expect here and this ended up being a completionist purchase more than anything else. Like the others, for $40, it's a really well done figure that I can easily recommend to fans of the series. However, I will admit that I was enamored by the small changes in this release. Enough so that I'll even go as far as to say that this is my favorite of the Sailor Moon SH figure arts to date. Visually, Venus just stands out that little bit extra when displayed alongside her teammates. And even though her accessory count is lower than Serena's, their diversity make up for it. Again, subtle changes lead to a more impressive figure overall. If Sailor Venus was your main priority, take delight in the fact that this is probably the best SH Figuarts Sailor Scout to date. But that's all for me. Thanks for watching, and the team's almost complete. All we have to do now is wait for the sound of a courageous thunder.